militarization of the conflict, the war against drugs in Colombia. Well, much of the coca growing areas were pushed down to the south of Colombia onto the border with Ecuador, making it easier there to make it a transit country. What I think is so interesting that has happened recently is the new president, uh, Noboa, declaring an internal armed conflict. Now, think about that. The only other country in this region with an internal armed conflict is, of course, Colombia. And if we think about the experiences of Colombia and, indeed, to a certain degree, Mexico, uh, trying and demonstrating to us that the use of excessive force against trafficking, it doesn't eliminate it. So they're going to need to put a whole manner of different uh, policies in order, which is going to be very difficult for Noboa. So we are seeing that organized crime is controlled uh, and run from the prison. So the first step, of course, in Ecuador would be to control mm -hmm. the measures that the government needs to take hinge on the government's ability to regain full control of prisons. But of course, as this has been coming along the several years, this violence mm -hmm. simmering and then growing in Ecuador, uh, we know that corruption is from the bottom up and from the top down. The judicial system, the military, so the security forces, yeah. uh, everything is corrupt.